this episode of New Jersey Living, we are in Harrison, New Jersey. And Harrison, New Jersey, that name may not ring a bell to most if you're not local, particularly in North Jersey, but it is home to, as I'm panning up a little bit here so you can see, this is Red Bull Stadium. This is where the New York Red Bulls, and it's kind of funny you call that New York team being here in New Jersey, but such is the life of living in Jersey. We have the Jets and Giants playing here in New Jersey for decades now, but they still go out New York. Uh, so MetLife Stadium, where the Jets and Giants play, is only a little under seven miles from where we are right here. Um, but this is, in terms of the map, I'll flash up a map really quick. Harrison is a small town that is just northeast of Newark. So we cross a bridge uh, roughly about a half mile from where I'm standing right now. We're in the Ironbound section of Newark, which we have an upcoming episode on Ironbound. Today, we're going to dive into rentals. The rental market is robust in Harrison because in Harrison, as I pan just a little, as you'll see behind me, there is new construction happening right now. And there is existing newer construction all around us in about a half mile radius. Reason being is that the path station is about a quarter mile from where I'm standing right now that takes you into uh, Jersey City, takes you into Manhattan, also can take you into Newark. So because of location, it's easy to get to uh, the Penn Station Newark uh, that has Amtrak and also can get you to the airport very quickly. You also can get to the city very easily. So this is a very, very high demand commuter location for those that are looking for rental options uh, that are honestly on more of the luxury end. So we're gonna take a look at three buildings today. Uh, all of them are gonna be luxury amenities, but these are some of your alternatives to Hoboken or Jersey City, albeit what we're looking at right now are all higher end luxury type of accommodations. So welcome back. I'm glad you were able to join again for those Jersey hunters that have been with me. Let's get the ride going now. Welcome to New Jersey Living. If you are interested in learning all there is to know about New Jersey, the purchase market, sell market, rental market, places to dine, entertainment, iconic locations, then this is the channel for you. My name is Corey Jones and I'm a real estate agent with Compass Real Estate. I receive text messages, phone calls, and texts from folks just like you who are looking to explore the real estate market right here in New Jersey. So if that is you, please don't hesitate to reach out, whether you're looking to do something a week from now or several months away. Today we're going to, as I mentioned a little earlier, focus on rentals, but I work, of course, on the listing and the buy side to assist both existing homeowners and potential buyers find their new home. And I will be thrilled to help you in your process. Just reach out, all of my contact information is right here below. There's a Calendly link that you can click to schedule a quick 15 minute phone call just to get a feel for what you are, where you are and what you're looking for in your journey. And I will offer my insights for you and we'll be happy to do so. As I mentioned in the opening, we're going to take a look at three buildings. The first building is going to be really behind us. I'm gonna pan around. I'm still at the stadium, obviously. You can see the box office directly behind me. Uh, there's some newer construction going on. And we're gonna take a look at one of these newer buildings right here. Everything in this general area is relatively new. We're talking about uh, over the past decade, much of what we're going to see today has been built in that time frame. So everything pretty much on the newer scale and what uh, has been built around that area is a really relatively small condensed area. So there's not a ton of social scenes and dining scenes here in this area of Harrison, the way we're going to find in downtown Jersey City and Hoboken. But this is just a quick path train ride away from those two locations. So we're gonna get started with the first building, we're gonna give a few photos of the interior, talk about some amenities, and show some general price points. Just keep in mind, this is luxury end, okay? So let's go to the first stop. I'll see you there. Thanks again for joining everyone. For those Jersey hunters that have been following this channel for some time, thank you and welcome back. 
For those that are new to the station, welcome aboard. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay updated on all of our upcoming episodes. We have some very new content coming. We have two episodes coming out every week. So we wanna keep everybody just in tune, updated and abreast on all of the developments that we're covering uh, throughout the market in Northern and a little bit of Central Jersey. Our first stop is here at Vermella Harrison. Vermella is a well-known uh, name in the area when it comes to apartment buildings. They're doing a lot of luxury projects in towns throughout uh, northern New Jersey. Uh, I know uh, where we're going to eventually film in one location in Union, New Jersey. There's one of the newer ones uh, that's up there and they have at least uh, two or three other locations uh, that they're putting up. So here in Harrison, the pan just a little bit of a pan up for one so you can kind of get the feel of uh, the outside aesthetic. I think it goes up to four, if not five floors. And directly behind me down this short block here is the parking lot for the PATH station. So you are literally a block away from the PATH train when you are at this particular location, which is a great convenience. Um, you can see, as I showed from the stadium, the stadium is just on the other side of this new construction building here. I'm not sure if this is another Romella building or not, but uh, more buildings are coming up as you can see. There are both studio and one bedrooms available. I'm gonna flash up the price point so you'll see. You can see that the uh, studios are in the lower 2000s, one bedrooms mid to high 2000s. These are all luxury amenities and by luxury, you're gonna have a resort style of feel to the building. These buildings are going to have um, some kind of social community space like a rooftop terrace. You'll also have pool, you'll have other amenities like lounges, uh, you'll have accommodations for receiving packages, uh, you'll have, in some of them there's even libraries. So I'm going to be flashing up photos of various amenities for each building uh, that you can also find online. And the, here's the real positive perk about rentals when it comes to buildings like these. The rental fee is covered by the landlord, meaning the building. So uh, if you've seen some of my episodes in uh, rental market in Jersey City and in Hoboken, it can vary as to whether the landlord pays all half or none of the rental fee, which is typically a month's rent. Uh, here, the rental fee, you know, you know, the buildings that we're gonna see today, by and large, unless there's some recent change with uh, their policy, uh, your rental fee is going to be covered. So really what you're concerned with is first month's rent and your security deposit, which is typically a month and a half. There's also some perks with making a commitment to a certain time frame. They'll maybe reduce the number of months. So that's something that's uh, not uncommon as well, particularly when the buildings are newer and they're featuring a uh, certain type of incentives to get in and occupy early. So you may be able to, if you commit, for example, to your lease, uh, you may uh, have two months taken off of the overall lease term, all right? So likewise, you may have a, a 13 month and get a month off. So uh, those are certain perks that you can also entertain, but uh, that is kind of part and parcel for this kind of accommodation in these locations. So this is stop one. We are going to take another uh, two stops along the way. I'm gonna also feature uh, a quick stop at the path. So you'll see this path station has been newly renovated. They will seem like they were working on it forever, but it has been a newly renovated uh, path station because at one point in time, Harrison wasn't a major station. It was just kind of that one little short stop after Newark. But now with all of the development here, it needs to be more of a larger station, more upscale station, which it is now. I'll show a little bit of the I won't say true dining scene, but there's some dining options and, and kind of like some retail in the area that's newer as well. So we'll feature that along the way. All right, so I'll see you there. Our second stop is here at Harrison Irby see behind me they have uh, both the end entrance it's not the sole entrance but the entrance and uh, you know kind of like a little wine and dining uh, uh, shop up here the name I can't even make it out it's kind of written in that cursive neon light kind of sign I can't quite make it out just giving you generally the feel for uh, amenity just at a glimpse because uh, you're talking still basketball courts you're talking about fitness centers that are like kind of next level 
uh, as I pan around a little bit, I'm gonna pan up also so you can get a feel for the uh, aesthetic of the uh, general look of the building. And you can see uh, in general, even with the uh, windows, there's uh, windows are sizable, allowing for a lot of natural light into these places, uh, in, the, in the living spaces. Uh, on the right side, my right side, leading down the sidewalk, um, that has a view of Newark, whereas the opposite direction is going to be going towards the path station, which we're gonna stop by very shortly. Um, so this is different kind of price point than Vermella. Uh, so your one bedroom is gonna be mid to upper to high 2000s. Two bedrooms are gonna be mid to high three uh, and uh, three bedroom options uh, are gonna be well over 4,000. So I'm gonna flash those up just so you see what, they are, what those are, as well as a couple uh, photos, you know, of the interior. So this is kind of a, a, a little bit of a next step up, but all of them, as I said at the beginning, all of these are like luxury level accommodations. Uh, as I panned around, I have a pan around shot uh, that if you haven't seen yet, you're gonna see. It's uh, walking the street in this block here, it's as though you're in an entirely new area, but just as I mentioned earlier, outside of about a half mile radius, you'll see some of what you typically would see in Harrison, some uh, older homes and uh, one step over the bridge, you're into uh, downtown New York. All right, so um, this is going to be a convenient, very convenient walk down to uh, the path. So not as close as the Vermella building, but still very convenient. We're talking about from where I stand right here, maybe five, six minutes and you're there at the train station. So we're gonna take a walk down there. I'm gonna shoot some street footage to get a feel for what I mentioned in terms of there is some dining uh, options in, in the general area that were built. Like you see a lot of new con newer construction uh, when it comes to residential, there'll be retail on that first level. So I'm gonna shoot some uh, street footage of that. You'll see that. And we'll uh, take a quick peek at the path station. So I'll see you there. We're now on Frank Rogers Boulevard, directly across from the path station, as you can see directly behind me across the street. Uh, there's also a crossover entrance right over here, just um, maybe about 50 feet from where I'm standing right now to take you over the bridge, as you can see some folks are crossing over now. Now this particular station was under construction for, it seems like a decade. Uh, as most infrastructure projects seem to be. You probably can relate if you can think of maybe some road or major uh, renovation or construction work that's going on in your area. So here we have a station that has been substantially enhanced both in terms of the size and aesthetics uh, to really match what happened in the area. So I'm gonna pan around just a little. You've seen some street footage already. There's dining establishments all along the stretch. There's a, parking garage is a little behind where I'm standing right now. Um, so this has been very much part of um, the upgrade, if you will, that has happened in this area over the past 10, 15 years. Boulevard, it goes all the way down behind me this direction. It heads eventually about a half mile bridge over into Newark, into the Ironbound section. And the other direction really takes you into more of the heart of Harrison. So we're gonna take uh, a little bit of a stroll to get a little bit more uh, footage of the surrounding uh, areas of the train station and to uh, make our final stop is gonna be at One Harrison, one of the, uh, another one of the newer buildings here in the area. I'll see you there. Here we are at the final stop in front of One Harrison. One Harrison is one of the newer buildings in the area. There's still more new coming up all the time. We'll pan around just a little bit because we have, here you can see River Park. On one corner, it's uh, Jefferson Square. And on the opposite corner, it is Washington Square. Uh, these are condos. So you can own these particular buildings. One of the few buildings in the area, the immediate area that you can uh, own and not just be a rental building. But One Harrison is rental, very much luxury and 
reflects into prices, one bedrooms, low 2000s all the way up to just short of 3000. Y'all flash up all the prices so you'll see. Um, one bedrooms, you're in the 3000s, mid to high. And then when you look at uh, two bedroom options, they're gonna go from high 3000s up to just over 5000. So um, this type of accommodation provides you with everything that you could possibly need outside of dining and grocery shopping. But uh, in terms of social, leisure, fitness, entertainment, arcades, uh, study areas, work areas, uh, everything that you would want is here. And they made that type of convenience. Uh, it backs up right here on the edge of the Passaic River that separates downtown Newark from Harrison. So some units overlook the river into uh, downtown. This location is not as close to the path station as the other air of Vermella that we looked at and Irby. Those are just steps away from the path station. This is a few blocks away. So there's if I'm recalling correctly from when I brought a client out here, there is a shuttle that uh, will take you to um, the path station, which otherwise would be about a 10, maybe 10 minute walk from here. Again, one of those options that gives you the alternative to Hoboken and downtown Jersey City. Um, you've seen the uh, footage that I've had on the street. It has a newer feel in this immediate area that you're not gonna see in Hoboken. Uh, you'll see in parts of Jersey City, uh, particularly on the waterfront, but not everywhere. Uh, so. There's a trade-off, all right? So you have the luxury end, but it doesn't have that dining social scene that both Hoboken and downtown Jersey City will have. Um, but still, a lot of international um, residents who come here and just are gonna be here temporarily choose this as an option, even some students, because NJIT and uh, Rutgers University, the Newark location is not far from here. Uh, and some of those who are just making a, a decision in long term as to what they want to do may choose as an option to still have that luxury accommodation before they make their purchase. But still, you think about three to five thousand dollars a month is a lot to pay in rent that you never see back, uh, unlike home ownership. But either way, if you, this is something that you uh, are going to consider, please do look in the details. Uh, give me a call, text message email the calendly link is right here book a quick 15 minute phone call we'll be glad to share insights help you however i can um i'm gonna try and get a quick footage of some of the waterfront scene down here just to uh show what that pathway looks like for those who like to walk and jog uh, along that that uh, riverfront and um we will conclude with that uh scene at the very end so thank you jersey hunters for sticking with me watching through these episodes just to learn a little bit more about what's going on in the market in New Jersey. Those who are new, welcome. Please do click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. We have content, new content coming out twice a week at this point, and we wanna make sure that we are capturing uh, as much as we can that's gonna be meaningful for anyone out there that's looking to rent, sell, or to buy. So thanks again for joining. I'll see you next episode.